This is why you buy the worst house in the best neighborhood. Here's a before and after that you need to see. Okay, so this home is in Percival, Virginia, and they bought the home this time last year for $415,000, and then they're listing it right now for $1,088,000. And I'm going to tell you that they probably put in as much as they paid for it. Let's take a look. So this is a before of the exterior. Now look for the after. When I saw this house, my jaw dropped. And then it continued to drop as I was watching the other photos. Check it out. And when I said that this house was distressed, I mean, look at these vines. And the foundation looked, you know, worse for wear. So this is the hallway. Look at this, chef's kiss. So this is before of the kitchen. Stunning, just beautiful renovation. Living room area. I'm just, like my mind is blown. This was a bedroom. Seriously, so good. Laundry room before, laundry room after. Attic space before, unused. They've completely finished it off and it's beautiful. Now these bathrooms, beautiful. Another bathroom, stunning, just stunning. And I just love when people renovate old houses because they keep the old character. I love this finial and this newel post and let's see the after. You can just appreciate that they've renovated the floors, they fixed all of the drywall, they've done the lighting, they've painted, it just is beautiful. So let's do some math for you. If they do end up selling it for $1,088,000 and they have $415,000 into it and they probably um, had renovation costs of probably, let's say, $400,000, then they're probably making roughly $250,000 minus real estate commissions, minus taxes, and that's in only a year. That's amazing. And of course, if they are a general contractor or own some sort of construction business, then their renovation cost will be a lot lower than that. But um, I personally know that this house had a lot of foundation issues and a lot of other things that they've probably already resolved because it looks immaculate and they've done a really amazing job with this. So I know it wasn't just a normal fix and flip, but I think it will be definitely worth it. So just remember, buy the worst house on the block in the best neighborhood. And you can't do go wrong with that.